If you have been a regular viewer of my channel, then you might know that when you delete any file even permanently from the recycle bin, then it's not been permanently deleted and can be easily recovered using any kind of third party tool. But today in this video guys, I will be using the Windows feature only and not any kind of third party tool. And this feature is called Cypher that will override the deleted data to make it unaccessible and unrecoverable. And I highly recommend you guys, if you also want to delete any of your private file, any of the data that you want, it should not be recovered by anyone else, then make sure to watch this video and you should learn this method to permanently delete any file or folder from your Windows 10 or Windows 11. All right, so right now I am on my Windows 11 and here for example, I have a data on my USB drive and if I open it, now majority of the people what they do, they select the file from here and either they use the shift and delete key or just press the delete key like I will use the shift and delete and click on yes. Once the data has been deleted from here, they also move to the recycle bin and if the file exists here, they also delete the file from here so that it can be permanently deleted. And I'm damn sure that majority of the people still believe that if they have deleted the data from their uh, drive then from the recycle bin then that particular data has been permanently deleted and they have got rid of it. And this is not true at all because when you delete file or folder, the data isn't initially removed from the hard disk. Instead, the space on the disk was occupied by the deleted data is deallocated. So after it's deallocated, the space is available to use when the new data is written to the disk. Until the space is overwritten, you can recover the deleted data by using any kind of third party tool. So from now onwards, keep in mind, if you want to permanently delete any data and after deleting from the recycle bin, next what you will have to do, click on Windows search, type CMD or command prompt, choose run as administrator, click on yes, type here a simple command that will be cipher space forward slash W that will be basically for writing or writing give a colon and then you have to mention the drive letter from where you want to delete the data. So on my end, if I click here, I can easily get my drive letter and it's E drive. So what I will do, I will just type E drive. And now once if I hit the enter key, it will be overwriting the data. But let's say if you do not want to clean the whole drive or if you have a folder on any specific location, for example, I will create a folder here on my desktop and as this folder is on my desktop, I know it's on my C drive. Even if I bring up the file explorer and go to this PC, C drive, users, user account, desktop, so you will find the data over here. And if I highlight this path here, so you can see it's my C drive. So now what I can do, let's say I don't want to clean the whole drive here and only want to clean this folder. So I will type C here, back forward slash, and then I will type the folder name. So on my end, I want to delete this data folder that is on my C drive, so I will type data. All right, so this way you can delete any specific file or folder that is on any drive location. All right, so I will come back to my uh, main Kingston drive where I deleted the data and it's E drive, so I will only type E here. And now once if I hit the enter key, it says to remove as much data as possible, please close all the other application while running Cypher. So make sure that if you're using any other kind of application software, you just close them, do not work, do not do anything until the process is being completed. So basically what it's doing, it will first overwrite with zero and then with some random number. And once it will overwrite this data for three times, in the future, this data will become unaccessible and unrecoverable. So once the process will be completed, now you will have the peace of mind that yes, you have now permanently deleted the data that cannot be recovered by anyone else. And this is the right method in case if you don't want to use any third party software. So that's all guys for today and hopefully you found the information useful. If yes, yes, please hit the like and subscribe. And if you have any kind of question, any query, let me know in the comment section as well. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.